Unit 2A study guide numbers 4, 5, and 6. So we're just solving equations. Um, you just take each equation one at a time and look at what you need to do to get the variable by itself. So in number 4 we have 3 fifths times x equals 18. So we need to undo that multiplication of 3 fifths. One way to undo when a fraction is multiplying by something is to multiply by its reciprocal. When you do that, you're undoing the division of the 5 and the multiplication of the 3, of the numerator. And so we'll do that to both sides. And we can put the 18 over 1, so now we're multiplying fractions together. So 5 thirds times 3 fifths is 15 fifteenths which reduces to 1. I don't need to write that 1. 18 times 5 thirds, <clears throat> I can divide a 3 out of any numerator and any denominator. So I can divide it out of my 18. So now I have 6 times 5, which is 30, and 1 times 1, which is 1. And then I can simply rewrite that as 30. Number five, notice that this is a proportion. It's two fractions set equal to each other. So I can use cross products or cross multiplying. So I'll take the numerator of my fraction on the left and multiply it by my denominator on the right. I'm going to place my 10 out front. Since my numerator is an expression, I'm going to put it together in a parentheses. Then I've got 7. I take the denominator of my fraction on the left times the numerator on so that equals 21. Now I just look at my math and since I've got a parentheses I'm going to distribute that 10. 10 times x is 10x, 10 times 2 is 20. That equals 21. <clears throat> now on the left side I need to undo the math that's being done to the x. So 20 is being added so I'm going to subtract that bring down my 10x and then 10 is multiplying so I'll do the opposite and divide so x equals 1 tenth number 6 I take a look and I notice that I have variables on both the left side and the right side of my equal sign I also, on the left side of my equal sign, I have a negative 2 plus 5. So that's what I'll do first, is I'll simplify either side of the equal sign. So I'll go ahead and combine those, which will give me a positive 3, and then just bring down my 4x minus 12. I can't combine anything else on either side, but now I can move things over. So I'm going to undo that 4x. Since it's positive, I'm going to subtract it from both sides. Bring down my plus 3 and my negative 12. The sign in front goes with the number. Now I'm going to subtract 3 from both sides because I want to move that number away from my variable. And then finally, I'm going to undo this multiplication by dividing. So x equals negative 